to the now you got to bounce out, dude. We greatly appreciate you uh, jumping on for the first episode. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to do something for Anthony, man. We're gonna have to get him kind of good. Can't believe he oh, slept yeah. in. Can't believe he slept in. We're gonna yeah. Maybe we can get his wife to like stick his hand in <clears throat> some hot water or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll figure something out. Hey y'all, uh, this is uh, this this is the Barracks Lawyers. Me and Gus is gonna stay on just a little bit more because we got a couple more stories and stuff to the, the, to tell y'all. This is the Barracks uh, Lawyers uh, with uh, Anthony and Garrett. Um, Garrett's from CID, of course. And uh, for all y'all don't know, that's kind of like the FBI of the group. But um, hey man, pre- <clears throat> appreciate you jumping on, man, and, and hanging out with us for a little bit. Um, I'll get up with you here in a little while uh, and whatnot. Sure about a couple of things and uh hell if anthony freaking gets in tell him, tell him to come in we'll, we'll be on here for just a little bit longer uh tell a couple more stories and we'll bounce off here but uh all right so uh we'll go out with uh we'll go out with our commercial breaks and we'll go out with uh a song from one of our sponsors and then we'll be right back have a good one bro you too man thanks for having me Run by special ops veterans, putting people in war zones to work and working where others fear to tread. Each one of our products is manufactured in current or post-conflict areas. Your purchases fund women's education, the mining efforts, and healing our veterans. High quality products that make meaningful change for those less fortunate. what America will be for the world moving forward. This is Sam from Madison Rising, and you're listening to Dangerous Grounds Network. Branded Warriors, Inc., the original tattoo therapy program in America. Big Country and his band of warriors will take care of all America's heroes with one drop of ink at a time. Go to BWITattoos.org to fill out your application and send it to BWITattoos at Yahoo.com. Then the power of the ink and BWI will heal your mind. Black Rose Tattoo Shop. Veteran Rand and Branded Warriors Preferred Tattoo Shop. BlackRoseTattoo.com. All your tattoo needs. This is Rio of Madison Rising, and you're listening to Dangerous Ground Network. Hey, you want a freedom boner or what? Listen now. What's up? This is AJ from Madison Rising, and you're listening to Dangerous Grounds Network. And we're going to put a little bit of freedom all up in you.
is a little bit of dangerous. The official song of the Dangerous Grounds Network from the one and the only Madison Rising. You lucky sons of bitches down in Texas today. I'll tell you what. Holy shit. San Antonio got, yeah, a, got a surprise shit. today, man. They got a surprise. Last minute little concert. You know, got we got the new guitarist up there. Dave up there fucking wailing out and shit. Oh, man. So... For all y'all people out there, the you Dangerous Grounds fans and BWI fans and shit, and you uh, Stephanie Parker fans, of course y'all don't know where she's at. Uh, we'll be in Savannah, Georgia this coming weekend. Um, I'll go down there to do a little bit of EPs with uh, Stephanie for the October gig and uh, whatnot. And get her stuff up on here for Reverend Warriors. Y'all make sure y'all go check them out, man. They got some badass hikes, man. They they draw a fucking crowd. I tell you what, my sister is five foot, and she'll outwalk any last one of y'all. Tell you now, <clears throat> and she does it, and the way she does it is fucking just killer, dude. It's like they go two, three miles, stop at a bar. Two, three miles, start at a banana bar. By the time you're done, you're bust. Well, that's if you ain't walked it off. That's the way she puts it, anyway. Yeah, she gets into a little bit more detail, but um. Now we got them, and then the 22nd, we'll be in San Antonio, Texas, um, down there with Killer Kurt uh, for her birthday, and we'll be down there for Thanksgiving as well, and uh, hold on one second, uh, awesome, 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 Garrett, all right, he's a, uh, yep, uh, Next episode, uh, they said they are going to bring on their directors of customer service, uh, Jessica Lindy. She was uh, she was on one of the old Barracks lawyers episodes. She is Air Force. Why are all the females are Air Force? I'm just saying. <laughs> Does it not seem like that way? Do you that all the females are in the Air Force? Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, they they you know Garrett Anthony they you know. I, I know Anthony's talked to me a little bit about, about, about the show and stuff. And I know they got some they got some badass people that's got some badass stories coming up. And for y'all, the barrack stories, man, this is this is the shit that we done that if we got caught would have really fucked our career up. Like no shit. Would really yeah. fucked our career up. <laughs> We're talking about Article fifteen, forty five and forty five, no fucking rank, no money, you're sitting there and then you turn around and you get kicked out. So well, if, if you get kicked out or you start over from scratch, like with nothing. Yeah, see, I I went in as an E three. I just I don't know what it was, man. Maybe I was just that fucking lucky. Maybe it was because the age that I was in. I went in at twenty six instead of fucking eighteen. So maybe they thought I had some fucking sense. Well, I mean, I did, but I mean, shit. Basically, I you know I married my high school sweetheart, so. I was with somebody from shit high school all the way up till three months before basic training. So, you know, it, it's, it's, uh, you know, we, uh, <laughs> when I cut loose, I cut loose. Yeah. I stayed home for a whole, you know, went to basic training, came back, did my year in reserves. I mean, dude, I lived at fucking Hooters and the fucking yellow rose and the paper doll lounge every day for a fucking year. I drank my ass off. Then go to fucking Germany and got even fucking worse. It's damn, dude. Unfiltered beer, fucking you know, absence is not real. Don't don't think absence is gonna give you hallucinations and shit. It's just not real. It's fake. It's just really nasty tasting. Jesus Christ. Whoever came up with that shit, whoever came up with that story, needs to be fucking punched in the mouth. That was some nasty shit. Because when you get over there, then they start telling you stories like, "Oh, well, you need all three colors mixed." And of course, we're gonna try it. We want to see if the shit's real. Yeah, I mean, you're in a country that lets, you know, 16-year-olds drink. And sex shops are like fucking Walmarts. I mean, for real. It, you know, the Autobahn. Jesus. I love, Taste I miss, the variety. I miss my skyline, <laughs> man. I miss my skyline, dude. Fuck, I miss that motherfucker. I had a bright yellow fucking skyline. That motherfucker would fly. Of course, you know, when the Lamborghinis and shit came by, I looked like a fucking slow-ass turtle, but to everybody else, fuck <laughs> Man, yeah, man, oh man. So we got some, we got some more, we got some more badass shit coming up. Um, so the barracks lawyers will be on Sundays. So we're gonna try to get some. Uh, we're gonna be making some calls to some people in uh, 
on the uh, on basis, and maybe we can get some of the uh, some of the soldiers to listen in. Maybe they'll learn something before they get busted or popped for it. Um, that was something. Or just give us some of their good stories. See, we setting them up for failure, then. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yeah, I could I could hear that now. You'd be the fucking platoon day. Like this son of a bitch right here is actually gonna go on the fucking radio and tell what he fucking done. We're all gonna be sitting there waiting and listening. And then when he's done, we're gonna go bang on his fucking door. Guess what, bitch? Come on, let's go. <laughs> You're nailed. What what, what what I do? I didn't do nothing. Yeah, you just spilled it out across the world. What I didn't do nothing. It's just on the internet. Yeah, it's everywhere now. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> just saying. So, um. We're looking. Uh, we're really looking forward to uh, Kings uh, Kings Ilo coming on. Uh, they're going to be doing their promos tomorrow, which is badass. Uh, me and the Ghost is going out there on December the fifteenth uh, to watch them play. Uh, really yep. excited about that. So we'll be coming up to Ohio. That, that'll be at, uh, That'll be held at the V Club in Huntington, West Virginia. I oh. think it's seven o'clock's kickoff. Seven or eight's running there. Damn, we're not going to be in Ohio. We're going to be in West Virginia. Well, I mean, you're what, literally, man, where it's located is a five-minute drive from Ohio. Okay. Let me make sure. I ain't trying to make no wrong, wrong left turn or nothing like that, you know? You know how them fucking Virginia people no, are. No, no, no. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll be out there on the, uh, the 15th of December. Yeah, like I said, we'll be in San Antonio on the 22nd of November. We'll be out there for about a week, and then we'll be uh, – Savannah, Georgia, next weekend. Um, so, you know, we're going to start broadcasting from different places. Um, got me a nice little fucking setup so I can fucking carry everything now and then not be a pain in the ass. And, uh, yeah, that is just something we you know we can do for y'all, man. Bring y'all something, something better to listen to, something from different places. Um, I can imagine. I, I really want to ask Stephanie what kind of bear story she's got. She was a fucking 60 gunner. <laughs> You know, my, my twins, I call her my twin sister because we think exactly alike. I mean, we do. We think exactly like about life, about our careers, you know, helping people and shit like that. And uh, she's got a badass, badass boyfriend. Scott's fucking cool as shit. And, uh, you know, it, it's, you know, she's like five foot nothing. I can hold her with one arm. And if you see a picture of me holding the fucking 240, you see that motherfucker go across my body. I'm like, damn. I was like, sis, how in the fuck do you... I don't even want to know. I just want to stay stay the fuck away from her whenever she's getting mission ready. Because uh, if she's carrying that motherfucker around, she's badass. And then on top of that, she was a 60-gunner. Oh, fuck. Come on. Hey. Uh, I, I'll, I'll give I'll give a credit, honestly, because when, when I was a, a, a 240-gunner, when I became a 240-gunner... For battalion, it was literally me by myself carrying all my shit. You know how much shit there is to carry. And <laughs> well, I'm at, at the time I was yeah I was six foot two, but weight wise I was probably pushing one seventy five ish. You if that bitch, you fucking twig. <laughs> oh, I was. I hey, but I fucking carried that motherfucker, man. That and the tripod. <laughs> Why? Damn, they actually made you carry the tripod. And see, we had our LMTVs backed up. All right, my shit didn't go on the tripod. My shit went up in the fucking hatch. 